हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू माय चैनल एज रिक्वेस्टेड बाय व्यूअर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन शीट मेटल स्टैंडर्ड साइजेस एंड इट्स मेजरमेंट व्हिच आर अवेलेबल इन मार्केट बाय नोइंग दिस स्टैंडर्ड्स यू कैन ऑप्टिमाइज योर कंपोनेंट पार्ट लेआउट इट इज आल्सो कॉल्ड एज द नेस्टिंग और स्ट्रिप लेआउट इट इज आल्सो हेल्प्स टू अवॉइड मोर स्क्रैप एंड to save the cost on material also explaining the material selection process of sheet metal and biw that is body in white in automotive industries i also cover types of sheet materials their grades its various properties and processes this video is helpful to students and professionals for getting the simple and clear understanding on flat and rolled material selection so please watch this video till end so friend let's start with flat rolled steel mainly flat rolled steel is categorized into three types first is the foil that is aluminum and its thickness having 0.2 mm second type is the sheet metal sheet metal having the thickness of 0.5 mm to 6 mm thick and third category is the plates all the sheet metals having more than 6 mm of thickness it is called as the plates so going to learn hot rolled steel what is cold rolled steel versatile properties of sheet metal types of steel as well as the alloying elements and its effect which is very much required for strengthen the steel materials and for increasing the strength hardenability to reduce the ductility and to reduce the stresses of components so alloying elements are very much important in sheet friends uh, actually rolled sheets are classified into now we are going to see the preferred materials and it's from the above image we can get the understanding of thicknesses about the constructional steel in constructional steel actually the cold rolled as well as the hot rolled steels we are using but the thing is that in case of cold roll sheet from 0.5 mm to 3 mm thickness of steel we are used for cold rolled constructional purpose and in case of hot rolled steel we are using from 3 mm to 50 mm for the hot rolled constructional steel parts because those parts are the structural parts which we have already seen other thing is that in case of stainless steel it is also used from 0.5 mm to 6 mm for the cold rolled steel and hot rolled steel it is used for from 4 mm to 45 mm so this is the general graph for getting the understanding of construction sheet material as well as the coated steel stainless steel aluminum copper so that we can understand the thickness of sheets which we are used in our industries here we are going to here we can see the alloying elements and effects alloying elements are used to enhance the mechanical and chemical properties of steel that's why we are adding alloying elements alloys are more resistant to corrosion than pure metals metals in pure form are chemically reactive and can be easily corroded by the surrounding atmospheric gases and moisture chromium is added to steel to increase the resistance during the oxidation process 
due to oxidation process the surrounding oxygen is chemically react with the chromium so chromium dioxide cr2o3 it is corrosion resistance so chromium we are added for to increase the corrosion resistance that material magnesium best alloying steel we are using in steel due to use of magnesium approximate 0.3% we are using the magnesium to increase the strength when we are saying strength then it is a tensile strength and increase hardenability due to the increase of strength ductility becomes reduced and we can get the issues of internal porosity and cracking in weld bits so magnesium percentage we have to be maintain according to its application some other alloying elements also we used like magnesium silicon phosphorus sulfur copper nickel these are the elements alloying elements we mostly used for getting the chemical properties in steel due to use of these alloying elements we can improve the properties like strength weldability machinability ductility and toughness thanks for watching this video please share this video Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.